A few months ago, I got to visit the jungles of western Honduras and see the ancient Mayan city of Copan. With unexcavated pyramid statues and wild macaws flying over our head the whole time, this has to be the most underrated historical site I've ever seen. And I'll try to sum up some of the coolest stuff in this video. So I'm like a monkey stand right now. <laughs> After a 1500 kilometer road trip through Mexico and Guatemala, and way too many night buses, I met up with my buddy Jay in the colonial town of Antigua in early 2020 for some adventures. Now it was time to go to Honduras. The ruins of Copan had been on my bucket list for a while, but the visa process for going to Honduras was just a little too complicated. After about five trips to the Honduras consulate, I did finally get my visa. So from Antigua, we took a six hour uncomfortable shuttle ride through some winding roads, crossed the border, and immediately came to the city of Copan Ruinas in the floodplains of the Copan River. The next day, we woke up at 7 a.m. to catch the site right when it opened up. The city of Copan was settled as early as 1000 BC and was occupied for around 2000 years. It's in the extreme southeast of the Mesoamerican culture region, but it didn't really become a major center until the early classic period when it was ruled by a dynasty of 16 kings between roughly AD 426 and 820. The first ruler appears to be this guy named Kinish Yash Kukmo. Isotopic analysis of his teeth found in his tomb suggests that he might have actually come from Tikal in Guatemala, if you've seen my video on that. My favorite part of the story is that a lot of artifacts from Copan suggest that the city was very heavily influenced by Teotihuacan, which is 1200 kilometers away in Mexico City. And if you know anything about me, that's one of my favorite places on earth. One of the things that makes Copan really unique, to me at least, was its 80 plus stele. These complex and sophisticated structures were used as stone canvases back in the day for religious expression. The kings of Copan erected numerous stele, which still dominate the main plaza of the site. These became part of festivals and religious reenactments, and they were intended to immortalize the rulers and to protect the city forever. So the best part about coming here at 8 a.m. is that you'll have the facilities pretty much all to yourself. Right now we're in the main square of Copan Ruinas and we really don't see anyone else except for parrots and the other animals here. Along with Stile, I'd say the other thing that makes this Mayan site really distinct are the hordes of exotic birds. <laughs> if you go there early in the morning, you can see the macaws being fed even. It's pretty cool. We also saw some turkeys. Whatever the hell this animal was. Look at fucking kangaroos. Now back to the site. After 850 AD, the royal residence was deliberately burned and Copan gradually became depopulated. It wasn't really thoroughly explored until the 19th century. One place that very interestingly did not get destroyed was the former principal religious sanctuary of the city called the Rosalila Temple. It was carefully and ceremoniously buried along with many artifacts from the time. A full-size replica of this very well-preserved temple can be found at the site museum of the entrance. And you can walk through it to get a glimpse of Mayan times. Of course, no Mayan city is complete without a Mayan ball court game, but if you want more information on that, just watch my video on it, Kushmal. What's really interesting about this site is the hieroglyphic stairway, which is full of Mayan hieroglyphics and describes the history of Copan and all its rulers. It's a pyramid-like structure with more than 2,000 glyphs on its 63 steps, and it's the longest known Mayan inscription that exists.
Hey people, first off I want to give a shout out to Robert Espinosa from the Honduras Consulate. That was a very busy place and everyone had their hands full dealing with all kinds of issues that Honduran citizens were dealing but Roberto stayed in touch with me every day and made sure that I got the visa I needed to go visit Copan, so thank you for that. On a second note, please let me know if you have any questions about visiting this place in the comments and I'll get back to you as usual. On a final note, I think this is the last backpacking or Central America backpacking video for the year at least. But I just moved to Hawaii, so I should be bringing you some more content, but I'm quarantined in my hotel room right now. But more on that next week.